You can take a bite out of some of the most outstanding restaurants in LaGrange during this year's restaurant week. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with a preview is Chef Zach Maloki from Barrel House Social. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. I mean, you got a gorgeous spread, but yeah. we are going to yeah. be making some Spanish rice yeah, today. Absolutely. So we're going to make some Spanish shrimp today, and we're going to talk about some of our other dishes for restaurant week that we're offering okay. over at uh, Barrel House Social. All, All right. right. So how do we get started here? Yes, yeah, so we've got our pan with olive oil in it. We're going to get it nice and warmed up so we can get the good sear on both sides of the shrimp. Okay. Um, the shrimp are tossed in our spice rub, which is uh, garlic and onion powder, a lump of pepper, um, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So real simple. Okay, yeah. Lots of fun flavors in there. And Ooh. the thing about shrimp is you really don't have to marinate it because it doesn't really do too much to yeah, it. Yeah, anyway. no, I mean, not yeah. a long time. Just toss it in there, let it sit for a few seconds. Yeah. Um, while that's heating up, you know, we're going to keep our bean puree heating up on the side over oh, here. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Absolutely. Bean puree, what is that? Yeah, so we take white beans, um, we cook them down with a little bit of chicken stock, um, mm -hmm. garlic confit, which is garlic that's been roasted in the oven for about Ooh. two hours with a little bit of olive oil and some herbs, mm. um, and then some lime juice to finish it all off, and we puree it nice and smooth. Um, yeah. All right, I'm already Ooh, starting to smell it. good. Yeah, yeah you get already. nice aromas from mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. All right. And how long do you have to soak beans when you do, like, a puree before you... Even you usually soak them overnight, so okay. we'll put them in the cooler at the end of the night, and when you come in about 12 hours later, they're Got ready it. to go. So that's yeah. a lengthy dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah it takes okay. a little bit of time, but nothing that you can't do at home. <laughs> so Bill House Social, it seems like it has a lot of your, like a new twist on your traditional comfort kind yeah, of food. Yeah, so a lot you of... you got some meatloaf here. Yeah, so a lot of comfort food over at Barrel House. Um, it's a scratch kitchen, so we make everything in-house. Um, but yeah, you're going to get dishes like meatloaf, um, pulled pork sandwich, we've got a lot of burgers on the menu, um, mm -hmm. just a wide variety of comfort foods just done with a little bit of twist. Okay, and so, that's one of your pre price fix. Yeah, so this is one of the dishes on the Restaurant Week menu. Um, it's also one of our signature dishes on our menu that we opened with and we've kept it ever since and people love it. Okay, and I've been eyeing this couple nice desserts out here too. <laughs> yeah, so um, the two dessert op options on the Restaurant Week menu are our bourbon bread pudding. Mm -hmm. um, so a traditional bread pudding with an old-fashioned glaze on top, yeah. um, some toasted pistachios and some candied orange peel. Um, and then over there we've got our bourbon cake Cake, which has got a bourbon caramel, um, there's bourbon infused into the cake, and then it's candied pecans on top. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, sounds right. good. So Restaurant Week gives people the chance to come in and check out the restaurant that they may have thought about at some point and just never got around to doing it. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a lunch and a dinner menu for Restaurant Week this year. Um, the lunch menu is going to run 25 and the dinner menu is going to run 50. Um, it gives you a great opportunity to try new dishes that Ooh. you might not have originally tried. Um, stepping outside of your comfort zone um, or just getting a full experience, you know, where you normally just come in and maybe have, you know, one mm. little bite yeah. to eat, you get multiple courses. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this looks so good. And is that a burger that you got yeah. there? Oh, no, wow. yeah, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. That looks so good. And you actually have some cocktails down here. I know. Yeah, I, absolutely. Okay. Can't oh, skip here. these. Yeah, yeah where are these? I'll bring you one. Okay, yeah, one I'll let you bring them. Uh, I'll take which, the brown one. The brown one? What's the brown one? What's the brown yeah, one? Yeah, so that's our Burlington New Fashion. Uh, ah, so it's hard. I thought I was going to old fashioned. Okay. Um, and then you've got the uh, Lost in Space, which is our take on a cosmonaut. Oh. So hibiscus tea and okay. vodka. Ooh, yeah, yeah okay. Because if, if you said gin, it was going back, but no. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh this, is a, this is like a little bit of a lighter. Yeah, so it's lightened up a little bit. Yeah. It's not too heavy. Ooh, I'm um, floating in space. It's this a great sipper, but you could, you know, enjoy more than one. I was one. like, this could be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, it can get very dangerous. Yeah. This is delicious yeah. here. Okay, I, yeah. we sign off on those. Okay, so how long do you cook the shrimp in? Yeah, so about two minutes on each side, um, under about medium heat. Okay. Um, just so they're cooked all the way through, and they've got a nice sear and some color on the outside. Mm -hmm. So while those are almost finishing up over here, we'll take our bean puree and we'll start plating up our dish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you guys change your menu? Are you a seasonal type of a, a change? Yeah, so we try to change with the seasons about two to three times a year. Okay. Um, we want to bring in the freshest ingredients. Um, we try to pull from some local farms. Um, we go to the LaGrange Farmer's Market during the summertime and we find, you know, fresh ingredients cool. to do specials and stuff like that. So we've got our bean puree, nice yep. thin layer on the bottom of the plate. Give our shrimp one more quick flip over here. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Get these guys right on top Ooh. here. Still mm -hmm. Now, would this be considered an appetizer or a yeah, meal? Yes, so this is one of the appetizers on the dinner oh, menu. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, I could eat a lot of that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to top it with some fire roasted poblano. So in the morning, we get the grill nice oh, and hot. We throw some poblano on peppers on there. Mm -hmm. um, nice little heat, um, but not too, you know, overbearing, not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice.
And I just I saw you have that chimichurri sauce too. That's yeah, yeah. So we've got our smoked jalapeno chimichurri. Same thing. Get the smoker rolling in the morning. Oh. We throw them in for about 20 to 30 minutes. They get a nice blister on the outside. Pick up some of that smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. And then just a traditional chimney. So parsley, cilantro, um, chives in there, olive oil, lemon. Um, yeah. Delicious. So we got some crumbled goat cheese. Oh. Um, so goat Ooh, cheese adds creamy. a nice, yeah, mm -hmm. nice tang. A little bit of creaminess to it. Mm -hmm. I like a, the commercial break. He said it's, it's a really simple, simple dish, straightforward. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, mm -hmm. you're looking like, to step outside your comfort zone, yeah, you know, yeah. have something fun at home, and then obviously the chimney's gonna finish it all off. So nice level of heat here, mm -hmm. um, some great acidity onto the dish. Mm. Just balances everything out. But this just looks so awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. That's awesome. Yes, that's it. All right. That's fantastic. You, you spend time putting this all nice together, and we're, we're gonna destroy it. Tear yeah, absolutely, apart. tear into it. Okay. okay. So we Beautiful. Can speak with any kind of authority about how mm -hmm. delicious this is. Yeah. I don't want to eat the, the menu tail. looks great though. Okay, I got the tail there. Okay. Ready? You. You're gonna try? Are we taking the whole thing? Mm. Mm. Wow, is that good? Yeah, so. mm -hmm. A ton of different flavors going on, mm -hmm. lots of levels of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to get heat, acidity. Uh, I love that bean puree, too. Yeah, oh, some nice yeah. creaminess to it, some crunch from the shrimp on the outside. Delicious. Delicious. Ooh, that is so that. Good. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. The Grange Westermont Week runs until March 5th. You can find information there at lagrangeevents.com. You can also check out bhsociallagrange.com. Fantastic. So Thank good. So Thanks, Chef. Thank you for having me. Delicious.